We've been very lucky with the connectivity. I know. So don't <laughs> jinx it. Don't jinx it. Um, can you like tilt it down a little so that, yeah. There's nobody, okay. there's nobody here. I know, that's why we can do that. It fix my hair. Adjustments. Why is it that every time I come over here, my hair is like, oh, hey. I think it's because like we're reverse image and we're not used to seeing mm -hmm. it that way. No. Do you know what I mean? Is that what it is? I don't know. That's why I'm speculating. <laughs> <coughs> okay, people are here now. Hello, good morning. Hi, everybody. It isn't still not down. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We'll just have to sit taller. <laughs> so, good morning. Uh, if you didn't actually watch the hearing yesterday, and normally we wouldn't, right? I don't oh, know I was, what made us do it. I was completely engrossed. Right? Like, I could not I take stop. my eyes off the screen. I couldn't stop watching it. And my poor nine-year-old daughter was in the room with me for a lot of it. And she was like, what are you watching, Mom? <laughs> and I'm like, they're trying to throw the president out, honey. <laughs> they're trying to throw him out. Why are they doing that? Because they hate him, and this is ridiculous, and they shouldn't be doing this. This is not how our republic should work, you know? I mean, even a nine-year-old understands yeah. that this is completely and totally insane what they're doing. It was totally Ugh. exciting to watch, though. <laughs> so, Benedict Cumberbatch, one of the witnesses... Noah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the Noah the guy. guy that looks just exactly like Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't know if he looks exact because Benedict Cumberbatch is creepier looking. Noah. Really? Yeah. I mean, Noah's pretty creepy looking. The Noah guy. The Noah guy's like, hello, everybody. I'm I Noah. feel like I'm Noah. either one of them would wear I'm your skin. Not. I'm not. I went to Harvard. I would totally wear your skin. <laughs> That's Noah. Um, anyway, he was horrific, mm -hmm. but there was no one more horrific than Pamela Carlin. That woman that, defines she's a, sea hags. She, she is. She literally embodies yeah, the world. Everything that, whenever we've talked about sea hags or sea beasts over the past 11 years, it's her. Oh my God. I cannot. What a beast. Oh God, that woman. She was horrendous. And so we're going to be playing a lot of um, clips of audio on our show today mm -hmm. uh, on WIBC.com. If you're not here local in India and can't listen to it live, you can tune into WIBC.com. We'll be playing all the highlights and reacting to them because, <laughs> I mean, when she went after Baron, I, did you see her do like her own personal she, mic drop? Well, she, yeah, she thinks that she's so funny too. She's like, I'm so funny. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> I mean, she says the thing, and then she's like, "Yeah, she, uh, she every, sits back." She would do that every single. She'd do that all the time. Like every time she'd make a statement, she'd get up in the microphone. She'd be like, "I'm in the microphone, mic drop." <laughs> I mean, it was just this is what she did. Oh, God, well, that woman. She she's was infuriating, horrendous. infuriating. I, and I gotta say, if there if there are liberals out there who thought that she made them look good, you're high. Yeah, that was you are. Was I, I don't know what you're smoking. But you're so completely high because both of those people, I don't know, the third dude just sat there like, I'm a lawyer, I'm just going mean, to sit he here said, and agree with it. Yeah, he agreed with I'm all their gonna stuff. I'm just going to agree with all the crap they're saying. But there were no moments from him yeah, that were standout. Yeah, I'm just going to be a, a, a sheep. I'm just going to be sit over here and agree with all the things. But the, the two, the Noah and the, the Sea Beast, infuriating. And they made liberals look ridiculous. Yeah. And if you send your kids to go to college there to get law degrees or if you go there to get a law degree... Congratulations, because they made your school look ridiculous. And the one guy, Turley, who made sense mm -hmm. was is not a Republican, is a never Trumper, as a matter of fact. But actually, w that helped Republicans because they are the only ones that looked like they cared about nonpartisanship and just simply looking at facts yeah. and not like hurling their own personal opinions of the president into it. Yeah. And the rest of them, I mean, did you guys see? There's video on our website, chicksontheright.com, of that hag, Pamela Carlin, talking in a um, video from 2017 about how she got uh, she got off a plane from Dulles and then had to walk by the Trump Hotel and had to cross the street. That's how disgusted. Because she was so horrified. She was so disgusted with the Trump Hotel. She couldn't even be on the same side of the street. But listen, there's no bias. <laughs> there's this no bias at all. This is, this is who they're using. I just can't. For this. And the thing is, you know, there's no, like, actual witnesses. They're not using witnesses. This is all just people talking about how they think he should be impeached. There's no... You guys, there's there's no crime. <laughs> Which is why when Matt Gatz like had them all like when he asked them all directly, oh, yeah. who here has a, a, who's is an actual witness to what we're talking about and none of them raised their yeah. hands, of course, because they there's couldn't. There's no witnesses, there's no crime. It's just a bunch of liberals saying, We don't like the stuff he says. 
We don't like what he does. We wanted to impeach him since the day he got into office. And there's video of that. My God, we put it on our site. We've talked about it. This is what they've been wanting since the day he got into office. They are pissed off because Hillary did not win. Bottom line. <laughs> no, there's like video That's now what this is. of Eric Swalwell saying, oh, I'm reserving judgment. Really? Really? I mean, come on. When he came He's on. He's got like a whole history of tweets saying he should be impeached for this and for this and for this and for this. I mean, now and now they're trying to be all like, oh, this is so solid. Oh, I know, right. This, I, every time somebody said that yesterday, I was like, can you just stop lying? Every yeah. time I was like, this is so hard for me to get up here and do. No, it's not hard for you. <laughs> you lying sacks of crap. You love every bit of this. You've been salivating over impeaching this guy since the day he got into office. And to actually lie to the American people and act like... You don't love every bit of this. You don't love wasting our time and our money, our hard-earned money. Every single one of these jackwads, we pay $176,000 or more. Some of them make upwards of $220,000 a year. And we're paying these freaks. We're paying them. And what are they doing for us? Nothing. They're, they're just not, wasting all of our money. They're not getting any work done. Nothing. They have so much work to do, and they have just been twiddling their thumbs. I mean, this is... It's a spectacle. Control. It's an absolute spectacle. I am... God, it just makes me livid. Man, Matt Gatz is like... I was screaming at the TV in joy at what he was doing. Like, yeah. When he went after Pamela me Carlin too. for the comments that she made about mm -hmm. Barron, yeah. which were utterly inappropriate Weren't in every like, way. she like, get her! Yeah, get oh, her! Yeah. It I was know. I awesome. Was, I was too. And then Melania, for Melania to tweet about it, you know, know, that's, that's a, a big, big deal. deal. <laughs> and she said yeah. specifically, a minor child deserves privacy and should be kept out of politics. Pamela Carlin, you should be ashamed of your very angry and obviously biased public pandering and using a child to do it. And that is exactly right. Mm -hmm. And then she apologized. So Pamela Carlin, she had to have heard during some of their breaks how poorly she was being received. Yeah. And so she apologized. And even her apology was horrible. Yeah, yeah. Like she brought Trump into her apology. She was like, well, <laughs> I really regret what I said. But Trump should apologize for everything he's ever done, oh, ever. You know what? Bite me, lady. <laughs> I mean, what? God. You can't even apologize right. I swear. I, I, and th Ridiculous. Oh, God. These Ridiculous. People. Let's just bring academe into this and have them pontificate about how much they hate Trump. And then let the, you know what this is, y'all? This is now, it's not even a decision about Republicans or Democrats. This is a decision about the American people watching this and deciding. It's, it's our decision now. It's the power. And I feel like that was that really was to our benefit. Yeah. The way that they all collectively behaved and then how Turley so separated himself mm -hmm. and seemed so much more rational. Yeah, because he is rational. Yeah. He he represents me. <laughs> he represents me because he's like, listen, if y'all do this, this is this is it's gonna fracture our republic. Yeah. Because moving forward, if we do this, then you know what's gonna happen? We'll be able to do this to a Democrat president. We'll be able to say, I don't like what he says. So let's impeach him or her. Let's impeach this next president. We'll be able to do that. This is what they're doing. So basically from here on out, we're gonna be able to, if they do this, we'll be able to say, we don't like that person. So from day one, we'll be able to just pummel that person, pummel, 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 beat at up on them. Taxpayers expense. At the taxpayer's expense. Won't let them get any work done and then just impeach them. This is what we're doing now. Which is why it was so important. Um, one of the things that Turley said is if you impeach a president, if you make a high crime and misdemeanor out of going to the courts, it is an abuse of power. It is your abuse of power. You are doing exactly what you're criticizing the president for doing. Amen. I mean, he was fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And, and they are doing it. They're, they are abusing their power. Yeah. They are doing that. Nadler and his cronies are doing that. They are abusing their power. We are paying these people. They work for us, and they have forgotten that. And by the way, Turley, I'm just throwing this out there. Even though he's a never Trumper, wouldn't it be great if Trump nominated him for the next Supreme Court? Yeah, it'd be fan oh my god, it'd be fantastic, right? Because yeah. listen, I'm not trying to say that I wish RBG harm, but she is not doing well. No, she's I think not. This is obvious. She's to not doing. She's not doing well. And I'm just saying, I know that there's he's got his short list or whatever, but this would be amazing. I think that list just <laughs> got shorter. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would just be absolutely incredible. Well, I mean, the man just proved that he is in extremely rational and level-headed, and he can think right in the middle. You know, I mean, he obviously is not a Trump fan. Nope. And he was able to go, you know what? I don't care if I'm a Trump fan or not. This is not right, y'all. This is not right. I loved when he talked about his dog being mad. Oh, my God. He's like, I'm a Labradoodle. Can you read that quote? Yeah, it's he said, so great. I get it. 
you're mad, the president's mad, my Republican friends are mad, my Democratic friends are, are mad, my wife is mad, my kids are mad, even my dog seems mad, and Luna is a golden doodle, and they don't get mad. <laughs> I love him. I know. I love that so much. And it's true. Yeah, and then he's like, so we're all mad. And where is that taking us? With Will a slipshod impeachment make us less mad? No. Or will it only give an invitation for the madness to follow in every future administration? He's absolutely right. Precisely. Precisely. That was amazing. Yeah, and, amazing. He's, and he is 150% correct. This is not going to help our country. Mm -mm. It's not. I mean, Democrats are so on a, they're on a revenge trip because they did not win the election. And they've been on this revenge, tedious, mental trip for two and a half, three years now. Yeah. They're just pissed off. I mean, it's palpable. I don't know. It, and then when you, because I was telling, um, I was telling <coughs> you yesterday, I've just started reading uh, Trump Jr.'s Triggered, which is really, really good. But I mean, I've literally read like 25, 30 pages. You gotta tops. finish it on your trip this week. I know, I'm so gonna try. Back to me. But one of the things that I learned that I didn't know is, is how long or how far back the feud between Trump and Jerry Nadler goes. Like it goes way, way, way back. And so I didn't realize that, that Nadler has had it in for Trump for decades, yeah. literally decades. And so, you know, to watch him helm this whole judicial committee, it's just, he's loving it, but I don't think he realizes how much this will backfire. This is gonna backfire. Yeah. This made Democrats look horrendous. It, it's, it's making Democrats look horrendous. And anybody who's on the fence, anybody who's an independent, who's watching this absolute clown show, has gotta be looking at this going, this is the biggest bunch of bullshit. Yeah, I can't. I can't believe. I have friends who are independent who are just like, "This is insanity. This is crazy. What are they doing?" You I know? see a lot of conservatives on Twitter who are saying they're very, very optimistic now about Republicans taking back the House. I, ho I hope so. I mean, I hope this is because we just want to get some freaking work done. We hire these people. We are. The managers, we are the HR people. We are the ones who hire these people to get work done. They're not getting work done. Imagine if you were hired for a job and all you did was spent your time, you know, trying to undermine the CEO, <laughs> basically trying to get the CEO fired. <laughs> and you didn't do your actual job. You didn't get any work done. And then you were getting paid more than your managers. Because I don't get paid $176,000 a year. I don't know about y'all, but I don't. <laughs> and so I'm paying these people way more than what I get paid every year. And that pisses me off. Yeah. It should piss y'all off, too. Anyways. God, I was so angry yesterday. <laughs> so angry. But it was so fun to watch. And I, you know, yesterday, when we had our Facebook Live yesterday, I was like, I just can't get myself to be interested about this at all. Yeah. And then, you know, we, start, we started watching it while we were on the air yesterday morning. This thing started. Yeah. And then for it to be like eight and a half hours later, and I just turned it on when I got home thinking, well, I should probably, like, know what's going on because it's our job. Yeah. And then, and then I was then, like, oh, I can't stop you're watching just, this. You're just completely into it, you know, because... Damn. I just, what a waste, y'all. What an absolute waste of time. I mean, the reason that we elected Trump is because he, he was more, he wasn't a politician. Mm -hmm. He was going to get in there and he was going to tick stuff off the list that we wanted him to do. He cannot get stuff done with these yahoos who are in his way. If they would just get out of his way and let him do the things, imagine the stuff he would get done. I mean, he's already got a lot of stuff done. But imagine what progress we would have already made had these people not been so obstructive. Imagine. Can I mean, you, you can't even get USMCA to get a vote right? in the House because Nancy Pelosi is wasting her time on all this bull crap. Yeah. I am angry, Richard. <gasps> I am angry because, I mean, I just, I just want to get some work done. I'm one of those people where it's like, can we just, like, roll our sleeves up and get some crap done? <laughs> you know? Um, I see that a lot of people like it when you're angry. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I mean, I, I just, listen, it's the practical side of me. And, and I like, I like, listen, I don't like everything that guy says. I don't like everything that Trump says, but I do appreciate the fact that he was, he's willing to get in there and upset the apple cart, mm. if you know what I mean. I like, cause there's a lot of status quo in Washington and I don't like it. You know, I like the fact that he's a businessman and he's willing to get in there and get some crap done. And I, they're in his way. They don't like the fact that he's different than them. Yeah. You know? And he's not following any kind of rules. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm totally okay with that. I like different. <laughs> I like somebody getting in there and, and saying, hey, let's do things differently. Like, shake things up and, and actually, you know, cut through some of this red tape and get some stuff done. And they're, they don't like that. Well, bite me. <laughs> you know what I love, too, is Doug <clears throat> Collins' drawl. 
I just love his drawl. <laughs> it's so fun to listen to. And then when he's all mad and like his closing statement was awesome. And he was saying, this is about a clock and a calendar. That's all this is about. Yeah, because they want to do it before the election. Yeah. Okay, now, now today at 9 o'clock, I don't know if you heard, 9 o'clock, Nancy Pelosi's making a statement. Well, they're going to, yeah, they're going to file the articles of impeachment. It's going to be her saying, we're going to do this. Even I can't though, wait to see how much she, like, chews her cut at that Even though conference. she didn't want to do this, right? She didn't, she didn't, remember? She didn't want to do this. I guarantee you she will use the, the word prayerfully oh at my least God. three times. And, she, and solemn. There, yeah, she's going to use, the, she's, this is a solemn, mm -hmm. we're all so sad about this. Oh, God, shut up, Nancy. <laughs> shut up. We're, we've been very prayerful. We're gonna, yeah, I've been saying all my prayers. No, you, you know. Haven't. Yeah, exactly. So dumb. Also. <laughs> Uh, totally unrelated, but Hillary Clinton was on the Howard Stern show. <laughs> now, people are convinced now that she is going to get in this race. I remain unconvinced, uh, but there's a clip that I posted at chicksontheright.com <coughs> of her on the Howard Stern show, and people are, are posting it on Twitter saying, yup, she's running, yup, she's running. Wait, 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 back up. Hillary mm -hmm. was on the Howard Stern show. Correct. Did he ask about Epstein? I don't know, because I only saw this clip and then another one. Does when anybody she, know? Because she says, she tells him that she is not a lesbian. <laughs> this is an actual thing that happened on the show. Okay, so he asked about her what? lesbianism or yes. lack thereof, but did not ask about Epstein. I don't know. I didn't listen to the whole show. I'm I telling need, you, I only heard those two clips. I, so need, I, don't know. I need to know. Somebody's got to tell me if he asked about it. Because if he didn't ask about Epstein, then I don't have any respect for Howard Stern. Well, anymore. I lost respect for him, too, because he dunks on the Electoral College. And yeah. his elitism came out, you guys, because he said when he was talking to her, he was like, well, you know, I was your biggest fan, but, I, you know, and you won. In my view, you won the election. Oh, you whatever. had three million more votes. Oh, my God. And I don't know about this Electoral College stuff. I guess some farmer uh, decided that his rights would be violated if we didn't have it. And I'm like... You did not, Howard Stern. Just say that, you elitist prick. I cannot believe... Because I was very disappointed in him. Yeah. I was not expecting that from Howard Stern. Yeah, well, expect and, it. And there it was. Expect it, because he's a New York elitist punk. So there you go. I said and it, Yeah. <laughs> So it used it used to be it used to be that you know he used to be kind of like a normal guy. Yeah. And he used to say all the things. He used to ask all the things too. He should have asked about whether or not Hillary or Bill, you know, if they visited Epstein's ranch, which they did with their daughter, and that the fact that her husband, who diddled like eighteen other women, right, and also raped somebody. Yeah. That we know of. Just one that we know of. I probably will listen to the whole thing. He should have asked curious. about that. And he should have also asked about whether or not, you know, wh why his, why her husband was on the Lolita Express 26 times. Did he ask about that? Well, I don't know. We can't speculate that he didn't. Because Howard Stern, actually, one thing he is good at is asking all the things. Yeah. Like, he usually doesn't hold back. So it's entirely possible that he asked that. We need to listen to it first before we say that yeah, he didn't. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, but he, she says that she's not a lesbian. <laughs> so she was like, contrary to popular belief, I like men. She actually said this. This is actually a story that we're going to be getting into on our show today. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is a conversation that we're having. And then he, Hillary, should, he should have also asked if um, Bill is actually Chelsea's dad. <laughs> Yeah, I hope so. I would have. I doubt it, but I hope. See, yeah. this is the thing. I doubt that he asked that because I doubt that's that. like huge, right? <laughs> yeah, that would have been. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Because she doesn't look like her dad. But she does talk about the stuff where you know when Donald Trump hovered on the debate stage. Uh -huh. She she addresses that, and she was like, "I was very well aware that if I you know if I turned around and and said back off, you creep, you're not going to intimidate me. That then I would be portrayed in the press as being unable to handle him." So she was talking about how aware she was that she just needed to ignore it. And then, I mean, she talked about how the inauguration day was like the most devastating, horrible day in you know her what, life. You know what she should have done is ignored all the balloons. When she looked up, she was like, <laughs> do you remember that? That's oh like a total God. meme now. That's my favorite It's funny ever. how she can ignore Donald Trump but not ignore all the balloons. Well, they were very exciting. I mean, you could tell when she was looking up at them. She's, She's never seen excited. them before. <laughs> all the balloons. Oh my God, that was hilarious. Um, and then, I don't know, to, one of the other things I um, will talk about in the show is just how everybody's ripping on Melania Trump's decorations. Oh, my God. How do you, how, how do you have that much hate? Well, they, now you're going to dunk on Christmas decorations and her coat. Because it's the WAPO. It's the WAPO, and they're going to find, they're gonna find oh something. Because they, they, they're, they're saying that her coat is cold. <laughs> it's like she, they're, they're making her look like she's frigid because she wore a white coat. 
It's actually gorgeous. Oh my god! If you guys have stunning. not seen the YouTube video of her showing the decorations this year, it she's she's flawless. Milani's flawless and stunning and ridiculous, and she should have been on like a thousand magazine covers by now. But our media sucks so hard, yeah. and they're so biased that they just can't admit that she is as flawless as she is. They hate meanwhile, it. meanwhile, hate I can it. dig up like fifty pictures of Michelle Obama with boob belts. Remember the boob belts? <laughs> Remember she they're said, like wrestling yeah, belts. Yeah, like the, the, the huge belts that like were right under her boobs. And she's like a fashion icon. She's an icon. Oh yeah, because I mean, look at her arms. Put her on the cover of Vogue like twelve times. God, she's, and she continues to be on the cover. Yeah, of totally. Stuff. I mean, because it's, there's so much bias in our country, it's just ridiculous. But Milani is an actual model. Yeah, <laughs> she's an actual model, and we that, but we can't we can't put her on the cover of a magazine because. She has an R next to her name. She's right. married to Donald Trump. And we're the media. We're the American media. So we have to totally dump on her. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. It ridiculous. Anyway, she's flawless in the video. If you guys have a chance to see it, you should see it. Because she's ridiculous. She's so beautiful in it. Ugh. I know, right? Who dumps on a cashmere coat? Or Christmas day. How, and they're mad about, like, how she decorated. Because everything is white it's and gorgeous. Just beautiful oh my and God. simple and just sparkly. I would love to walk through the White House <sighs> this time of year. I, I mean, mean, if anybody ever gets a chance to do that, you have to, like, get video and send it to us. Because oh that would God. just, to me, that's like a bucket list thing to yeah. be able to do it's, that. I, I mean, it looks amazing. And so but and so people are actually... T Brian Stelter, by the way. The guy, who looks, the guy who looks like a thumb. <laughs> He's the guy because, who looks like a Okay, thumb. so I have to sh I have to find it because he was talking about the fact that other people were saying these things about the decorations and her coat. Oh, God. And so what he didn't real he was like he was making fun of conservatives for harping on all the media headlines criticizing the decorations. And I was like, you're 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 actually making our point for us. Yeah. And he didn't even realize it. Yeah, well, he is a thumb. <laughs> And they are, you know what? They are jealous, Kathy. They are. They're jealous of her. Man, they're, they are. A lot. They're, I, I think liberals are just jealous of the fact that she is, she's so beautiful and she speaks five languages and she's a legal immigrant and she is, she's beautiful, she's accomplished and she is, you know, she's classy. She does all the right things. I mean, it's like she's really not, she's not screwed anything up. I mean, she's not said, she's done all the right, she's just wonderful. Yeah. And so they just want to dump on her because she is married to Donald Trump. So here's and it's what he unfortunate. said. He was making fun of Fox and Friends, okay? He was making fun. He said, one of the top stories on Fox and Friends this morning, media continues attacks on Melania. Media mocks Melania's appearance in Christmas decor. WAPO attacks Melania Trump's ridiculous jacket. Yeah. Well, they did that. Yeah. WAPO did that. I'm glad that Fox is saying that and pointing it out because yeah. all of the things that you just listed are things that you are doing. Yeah. You a-hole. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Yeah. Is that you guys are constantly criticizing and Fox is the only station that is going to be like, hey, we, we thought we should point out that all of these other media outlets are spending all of their time yeah. ripping on Melania. Yeah. That's how they're reporting news. Meanwhile, we're going to be over here talking about important stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, oh my God. they're pissed off. So what? She's married to a billionaire. So, I mean, you know, somebody said she's married to a billionaire. Well, I mean, so. I don't get what, what is. I, that That actually, to me, that that's a good thing. Is that? I mean, it, I, mean that, I wouldn't frown. Was that critical? Like, if my daughter married a billionaire, I'd be like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I would be down to clown. I mean, that's cool. That. Okay, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I mean, is if, and you also speak five languages, and you're also gorgeous. Mm. Way to go, hon. Yeah. Way to go. You know. <laughs> it's, I feel like that's anyway, okay. That's I okay. We were supposed to like answer questions and stuff. Oh yeah, we just didn't, we do, just that. didn't do that. But it's because there was somebody I, said a hole. You can curse here. I know that's right. Yeah. Sometimes I do, and I say really terrible things, and mm -hmm. then other. You times guys I should listen to our podcast. She dropped an f bomb the other <gasps> I day. I did. Yeah. Like, it just flew out of her mouth. And it I was totally like, did. God, I, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> right. Because you never say I it. I never, ever say the F word. <laughs> and so, like, my virgin ears were, they, they had, they started bleeding. <laughs> and I, I've totally warped her, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, though, you should listen to our podcast because it's it about the Peloton one. thing. It was pretty funny. I actually listened to it this morning on the way in to make sure that it was okay. 
And um, you know, besides the f bomb coming from her, yeah. Besides that, it was it was, it was good. really really good. So you should listen to it. It's, it's out, um, available everywhere. Yeah, you should definitely listen to it and subscribe if you haven't. Plus, you, if you do listen to our podcast, then you know that usually at the beginning of them, we read some of your. Uh, reviews and comments, which is always super fun. Yeah. So um, we encourage you to leave a review and comment on the iTunes podcast page because Ron says um, his ears are still ringing. I'm sorry, Ron. <laughs> she has a filthy mouth. <laughs> filthy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, leave a comment, leave a review, and you might have that read at our, on our next podcast. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, you guys. So she's not here tomorrow. She's going to Vegas. Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. So I probably am not going to do a video. I don't know. I may. I may surprise you. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Now you sound like Hillary Clinton at being asked whether she's running for president. I don't know if I'm going to run for president. I don't know. <laughs> but if I'm not here tomorrow, then you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, and we will talk to you um, on Tuesday. We'll at reconvene on Tuesday. Because she's going to Vegas to go party. You know how that's... <laughs> I'm and then for my kids And lacrosse. then drop the F-bomb. <laughs> you know how she is, you guys. <laughs> Best mom ever. I cannot <laughs> reel her in. So, you guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Hug, 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 hug. hug. Bring it in. Hug. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Oh, what? You guys. Oh, the mug. This, I we got, got one these. too. Look at them. They're fabulous. These are amazing. Look at these mugs. Seriously, look at them. And they come from, I wish I knew how to tell you to get them, but they come from a, um, a woman named Lori in Oregon who said in the return address, square pear pottery. Look at that. But I can't find that store anywhere online. Are those the cutest? I mean, they're they're heavy and just oh my so god. Well I love made. I love pottery. I love homemade things and I love pottery. Oh my god. The, I mean it, it's just that we are spoiled rotten by so many of you. I know, right? I just can't even, so so I can't so even. grateful. So grateful. And so many of you are so talented. I know. And creative and just amazing I'm, and we just appreciate it. I wish so I was that. Much. I wish I could do oh stuff god, like that, too. right? I know. So I can't do anything. Anyways, you guys. <laughs> Literally, well, I cannot do anything. Say, you can say the F word. That I'm really good at. <laughs> really good at, at <laughs> dropping the F bombs. You know, just sporadically. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Mux says bye. Yes, I will. All right, you guys, bring it in again. Yeah, bring it in. It's a dual hug. Like a bonus double, hug. double bonus hug. <laughs> you guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye. bye.